Alright, so since my last video about the Oculus Quest, something has come up. Something major enough to change the entire narrative surrounding the Quest, and that's Oculus Link. The TLDR of it all is that you can now use the USB-C port to connect to your PC and play full PC VR games on the Quest. First of all, I'm floored that Oculus would do this in the first place because it almost completely cannibalizes the Rift S. Almost. I'm not saying that the Rift S isn't worth getting anymore, and I'll explain my rationale for saying that later, but it does make the Quest a much, much more attractive device for a lot more people. So let me give you a quick rundown of how this works and what you need, and then I guess I'll just jump right into my opinions of it. All you need is a USB-C cable that is up to USB 3.0 standards and a compatible gaming PC like the one I've got back there. The cable that comes with the Quest won't work because even though it is a Type-C cable, it can only transmit data up to, I think, USB 2.0 speed. So I'll leave a couple of links down in the description down below to some cables that are proven to be compatible with the Oculus Link system. Once you got the cable, just plug it into your gaming PC and your Quest, download the Oculus app, and follow the instructions from there. It's very simple, and as long as you have a GPU that's compatible or supported, you should be good to go. Actually, I should mention that a lot of people have been getting unsupported GPUs to work flawlessly too, so don't let that completely deter you from trying it out yourself. It is still in beta, so you're likely to run into a few bugs no matter what, so keep that in mind when you give it a shot yourself. Now, what do I think of it? As of right now, I'm amazed at how well it works, but it's not perfect. Like I said before, there are a few bugs that you might run into, like games crashing, sound not playing through the headset, and other things like that, but those will be solved in time. It is still in beta after all. Besides that though, there are some latency issues. I'm very hesitant to call them an issue because it is very minor, but you can feel a slight lag, but nothing that takes you out of the game and definitely nothing that ruins the experience. But it is there. I suspect that the latency issue will be completely solved in time though, because Oculus is developing their own fiber optic cable that should, in theory at least, be able to transmit data much faster in order to remove or reduce that latency problem. If you've never experienced true PC VR though, the Quest plugged into a gaming PC is gonna knock your socks off. There are games in the Oculus library on the Rift side of things that completely blow the Quest, well, let's be honest here, rather underwhelming graphics right out of the water. Don't get me wrong, I love the Quest and there are some really good looking games there, but they do not compare to PC VR when the full might of a dedicated graphics card is being used. Not only that, but Oculus has been gracious enough to enable full Steam VR support, meaning you have access to thousands of PC VR games through Steam. And the Steam integration is nearly perfect. I haven't had any problems yet other than a few of the aforementioned bugs. After a year or so of not using the CV1, which is the original Oculus Rift, it's really refreshing to play PC VR again and get into some of those graphically intensive games. My favorite are games like Project Cars 2 and other seated play games where the tether doesn't get in the way. Ever since Link was announced, I was super, super psyched to give it a try and play some of the PC VR games that I really enjoyed with the original Rift. And I gotta say, I mean, the difference between the two is so crazy far apart. The Quest has a much higher resolution display and the OLED panels of the Quest make colors pop really nicely. The only other thing I have to complain about with regards to Link right now is that you can see some small amount of artifacting that becomes pretty obvious when you're staring at some dark scenes. Not a big deal, but it's there. Again, that stuff might be resolved when Oculus releases their Link cable, so who knows really. There's a game on Steam VR that I recommend absolutely everyone to try out if it's your first time experiencing PC VR. It's completely free and it's super simple. It's called Air Car and it's literally just a futuristic flight sim where you fly around a city. There's no story, there's no objective. You just take this futuristic ship with the rain hitting your windshield and the stormy weather and you just fly it through a futuristic city. It's beautiful and it really illustrates what VR can be capable of. My stomach ties up in knots every time I take a high speed corner around a huge high rise and it's just freaking awesome. So if this experience is so good now and it's only gonna get better, why is the Rift S still a relevant console? Like you'd think after hearing all this stuff that Oculus kind of just killed the Rift S. Well, no, not really. The Rift S is still gonna be better at tracking because it has an additional tracking camera. The Halo design is more comfortable than the Quest. And the reason that everybody talks about, the Rift S has a higher refresh rate, marginally anyway. The Quest display is capped at 72 Hertz, whereas the Rift S has a higher 80 Hertz refresh rate. And yes, you can notice the difference between 72 and 80, although I don't think it's a huge jump or anything. There are some people claiming that the Quest is capable of being pushed to 90 Hertz, so it's possible that Oculus might release a firmware update that'll enable that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I would have said, you know, like six months ago that they'd never do that, but after the Oculus Link update, I gotta admit that anything's possible at this point. Honestly, Oculus Link just adds so much more value to an already great standalone VR headset. I've said it a hundred times, but the Quest is just so worth it whether you're a hardcore VR gamer or someone that's totally new to it. 
I have a full review on the Quest that you can check out right here if you haven't seen that already. I highly recommend you check it out even if you are just the least bit interested. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to support my channel. And as always, have a great day.